It's my pleasure to introduce Aisha Moody Mills with the Victory Fund and Institute. So my grandmother always said that you can judge a person by the company that they keep. From day one, Donald Trump has surrounded himself with anti-equality advisors. His appointees, from Pence to Sessions to Bannon and virtually all of the others, have spent their careers demonizing LGBT people. Personnel is policy, and it is inevitable that their cynical worldview will ultimately drive administration policy on LGBT rights, just as they have on civil rights for other communities. So don't believe the hype. Even though no executive order has come through today against the LGBT community, Donald Trump pledged during his campaign to sign the so-called First Amendment Defense Act, which is a license to discriminate against us. And it would be no surprise if he fulfilled that promise by executive order. And y'all, this timing, isn't it interesting, the timing of his sudden embrace of LGBT protections? It's rather curious. We hope that this is not an attempt to just distract Americans from the potential devastation of his immigration policies, because they affect us too. We are women, yes, we are women, we are Muslim, we are undocumented, and we stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters who are under siege, because a threat to them is a threat to us all. not lost on us that not one of Trump's close advisors is a member of the LGBT community or even a friend of the LGBT community. LGBT representation in government matters because we all know that if we are not at the table, then we're on the menu. And that is where this administration will place us if we don't have our leaders in place working on our behalf. Representation in the halls of power is our best defense against anti-LGBT policies and any attacks on civil rights going forward. Which is why at Victory, we are doubling down on our efforts to recruit and to train more LGBT leaders to take over our government and to be the change that we need to see right now. So to all of you out there, I say to my LGBT brothers and sisters, stand up, run for office, take over, we can fix this mess. Yeah.